olive splitter from Monument. Uh, this is the 15mm version. Uh, so what this tool does is removes uh, crimped on olives from pipe. So in the UK we, we use uh, compression fittings uh, quite a lot of the time. And um, what these are are, as I suggest, fittings that compress an olive onto the pipe. So this is the olive here, which come in either brass or copper. Uh, it's just a simple, when the, the fittings tighten down, the olive compresses on and grips the pipe really well. But they're really difficult to get off. Um, so this is where this tool comes in. Yeah, there's loads of situations where you would need to use this, or not need to use this, but when you would need to get an olive off of the pipe. Um, specifically, I mean here for example, here's an old pipe here, uh, corroded. You know, just say you were going to, for whatever reason, take the old fitting off of here, put a new fitting on. And it's always good practice to remove the old olive, the old nut, which is probably corroded to hell. Uh, clean up the pipe, put a new olive, new fitting, uh, and you're good to go. But in order to do that, you need to get that olive off, which can be a, a pain. Um, another one here, say we're going to remove this. For whatever reason, we want to shorten this pipe and pretty much move this olive down, you know, even 10 millimetres or so. Again, it's really difficult to, to do to get the, the pipe cut. You know, now if you're using pipe cutters, for instance, you just can't get in there to cut that with the olive on. Um, I mean, you could use a hacksaw and debar the pipe and whatever, but the whole point of this tool is uh, for ease of use in restricted areas. You know, in these sort of situations, you need to, you know, use a hacksaw like this, which is extremely difficult because of the, you know, all the other pipes in the road. So this is really, this type of situation is ideal for the olive cutter. So I'll do a few demos next just to show you how you know, good this tool is. Okay, so here's the setup that we said we would want to get this off just to shorten this pipe down. Um, so we we'll want to get this olive off, get the nut off, cut the pipe down and then we can get new, you know, a new fitting on there. So all you would do is slip your cutter, if you can see that, slip it over the olive, squeeze it together, you can hear the click, release, and there's the olive, it's cut. You can see that's cut, um, but the important thing in here is you cut those off, but there's absolutely no damage to the pipe. You can see that, no damage whatsoever. So that was a copper olive on copper pipe demonstration. Uh, you can also oh God, this one. Here's a brass uh, olive. These are a bit tougher to cut, but again, it does the same job. So slip the olive cutter over. Squeeze together, it takes a bit more force this time. Oh, you hear the click. And again, there's the olives being cut perfectly. Um, and again, the pipe, there's no damage whatsoever on the pipe. It's just an old corroded sort of fitting, uh, which would be typical. Now you do this just when you're pretty much renewing a fitting in the same area. So good practice, just cut the old olive off. It was quite tough that one, <laughs> but we've got it. Uh, there we go, you can see that. Nice clean cut. No damage on the pipe whatsoever. Uh, fine, this nut can then come off. Just put a new fitting on here once all the pipe's cleaned up. Ideal. Okay, uh, th this is John Guest Speed Fit uh, plastic pipe, uh, which is used. Uh, compression fittings are used quite often on this pipe as well. So again, and these are really difficult to get off if they're on plastic pipe. Uh, again, olive cutter, slip it over the top, squeeze it together. You hear the click, take it off. I don't know if you can see it in there. There's the olive. Importantly, no damage to the pipe again. So now this uh, nut can be slipped off. Okay, so here's another type of plastic pipe. This is poly plumb pipe. Uh, it's very similar to uh, the John Guest pipe. Speed fit pipe. But again, commonly, uh, compression fitting is commonly used on this as well. Uh, so, let's just slip that over. Quick squeeze, click. That comes off no problem. 
get in, no damage to the pipe whatsoever. So it's ideal. And when you're using these, taking the olives off copper pipe as well, uh, the important thing is, <clears throat> you know, the pipe keeps its shape. You know, there are other methods of getting the olives off. Uh, yeah, another method of getting these off, uh, usually by experienced plumbers, to be honest, is using a set of grips. Uh, some guys can just get it over the olive and just, you know, ever so slightly squeeze the olive and, you know, twist the around the circumfer circumference of the olive. Yeah, you know, just to give you enough play to get to get that olive off. You know, it's quite tight, but you can sometimes just slip it off. Uh, using that method, you you risk uh, damaging the pipe. Uh, you can see there, the circumference has been damaged. You know, so if you don't know what you're doing, you damage the pipe. You know, put any kind of fitting back on there, you're risking a leak uh, with that. So, uh, good thing with these. It doesn't matter how hard you squeeze, it keeps the shape of the pipe. That's me fully squeezed down on these. You can see the pipe's totally protected. So, perfect. Right guys, that's the Monument Olive Cutters. Uh, they come in 22mm size as well. Uh, just do exactly the same job. Um, as I've said, these are the 15mm. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to these. I uh, hope you found this video Helpful. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the content, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, I do have a lot of videos on there already, um, and I do plan to do quite a lot of these sort of tool reviews going forward. I use loads of tools uh, for all the, the different jobs that I do, um, so I'll try and review the best of them uh, going forward. Um, you know, I'm somebody that uses these tools on a daily, weekly basis, you know, so the reviews you'll get from me will be honest, um, some good, some bad, uh, but this is one of the good guys. Um, definitely recommend this. Alright guys, thanks for watching, uh, we'll catch you in the next one, cheers.